Obama and the First Lady have served our country with intelligence, steadiness, race, and class. The First Lady of the United States has set a new bar for that role in substance, impact, and style. They will certainly be missed when they leave Washington and the White House. Hopefully they'll stay here. We have put together a short tribute to express our gratitude for their service. Let's watch. Eight years ago, on a warm night in Chicago, a black man earned the title of President of the United States for the very first time. You did that. Americans across the country, young and old, black and white, rich and poor, many who were casting a ballot for the very first time. We made history, and it was a long time coming. Five out of three. My four little children, one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. We elected a man who would never forget where he came from, who knew exactly what he had to do to get this country back on track. And today, we're still building on that progress. Health insurance reform becomes law in the United States. Today, I can announce that thanks to the law, 20 million more Americans now know the security of health insurance. Our high school graduation rate is at a record high. We slashed the African-American dropout rate by almost our business has created 15 million new jobs. We launched something we call My Brother's Day. We cut teen pregnancy in half. The overall crime rate and the overall incarceration rate has gone down by about 10%. There are actions within my legal authority that we can take to help reduce gun violence and save more lives. How do you say thank you for once in a generation change? By paying it forward. By making more history. That's what we do. And it's the very best way to pay tribute to a man who knows in his heart that perfecting our union is never finished. More than half of blacks say we're better off than our parents were at our age, and that our kids will be better off too. But there's always more work to do. And that yes, we can march toward that work with determination and grace. That, as he says, is the great project of America. Are you fired up? As long as we are all committed, then there's nothing we can't do. Thank you, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the distinct honor of presenting to you the greatest leader of our generation, the President of the United States of America and the First Lady of the United States of America. Standing public servant, 
does the rope Who, line. As we just talked about, we'll be riding off in the first. sunset together. So even though he's on that side now. Representative Marsha Fudge. Robert Smith. The Mother Emanuel family. And your Trailblazer Award recipient, my friend, a champion for change, Secretary Hillary Clinton. spring in my step tonight. I don't know about you guys, but I am so relieved that the whole Bertha thing is over. I mean, Iceland, North Korea, poverty, climate change, none of those things weighed on my mind like the validity of my birth certificate. And to think that we're just 124 days to go, under the wire, we got that resolved. That, that's a boost for me and the home stretch. In other breaking news, the world is round, not flat. <laughs> my last CBC dinner as president. Next time I show up, I have to buy a ticket. <laughs> um, don't get me wrong, though, we still got so much work to do, and we are sprinting all the way through the ticket. But the days are winding down. I've noticed that whenever Michelle and I travel around the country, folks come up and they say, oh, we're, we're so sad to see you go. And I, I really appreciate that. And Michelle says, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> she gave a speech yesterday. A bunch of young people were chanting four more years. And she said, nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's ready. But we do want to take this opportunity just to say thank you. To say thank you for your support over the years. To say thank you for your friendship. To say thank you for your prayers. As I just look across this auditorium, there's so many people here who lifted us up, who steadied us when things got tough. When we began this journey, coming on 10 years now, we said this was not about us. It wasn't about me, it wasn't about Michelle, it wasn't just to be a black president or the president of black America. We understood the power of the symbol. We know what it means for a generation of children of all races to see folks like us in the White House. And as Michelle says, we've tried to be role models, not just for our own girls, but for all children, because we know they watch everything we do as adults. They look to us as an example. So we've taken that responsibility seriously. And, I, and I've been so blessed to have a wife and a partner on this journey who makes it look so easy. And it's so strong, and so honest, and so beautiful, and so smart. <laughs> but we're all, we're, we're just thankful. Because you guys have lifted us up every step of the way. Now we know, however, that what matters most for our community is not just